Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Second upload on the day. Cheeky little double upload for your Tuesday. Hopefully it's a good one for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying these upgrade SBCs that are out in the game uh, right now. That's what I've been doing this evening. I've been crafting these cards, 81 to 87s, because I am trying to get myself an Icon Upgrade SBC sorted for a lot cheaper. I've got two of the four squads done. Uh, and we're almost there. So I'll be opening that here pretty soon. I've been really not trying to spend a lot of coins on it. Uh, and I've been pretty successful in that. And I've actually packed a couple decent things. Uh, this Usman right here got this earlier today. Untradeable first owner from the 81 to 87 upgrade. I honestly find those 81 to 87s um, basically the best out of all those upgrade packs in the store. The 81 pluses are really good, uh, but they just cost so much. So I've been doing a lot of the 81 to 87s and they've been paying out pretty well for me. If you checked out the other video this morning with the pack opening, kind of comparing the two SBCs, the 82 plus and the 81 to 87, uh, there is a good kind of reasoning and explanation I do have in there for why I choose that, that pack and uh, why I think it might be the best bang for your buck. But I wanna get on the market today and talk about a few things, maybe in regarding those SBCs, and also talking about a crazy, crazy thing that happened tonight with this guy right here, Mr. Van Basten. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, there was probably a message uh, that popped up on Ultimate Team for you guys when you got in, uh, either last night or today when you're watching this video. But uh, he said something that was uh, not good, and I'm not really gonna really go into it, but EA has decided to take his card out of the game. So they put this message up in the game. They didn't really say anything about it, I don't think. The message was like put up in the game, and I think on Twitter a couple people tweeted it out. Um, but I don't even know if EA tweeted it out. Yeah, EA didn't tweet it out. It just showed up in the game. This was the actual message. This is on the companion app, uh, a screenshot from Twitter. But um, it basically says, we are aware of the recent comments made by Van Basten, uh, and they will suspend his icon item from being available in packs, SBCs, and foot draft until further notice. So they're going to give us some more info on this. Uh, but obviously, this is a huge thing that happened today. And as you can see, I was actually on the game when that message popped up. I saw that right away. I went to the market to see what his card was doing. Um, and I honestly don't feel too bad about flipping a card like this. I bought it for 500k flat and I sold it literally minutes later for 920. Uh, it was crazy that he went up that high. I knew he was going to go up. I was hoping to get maybe like, you know, a decent icon flip out of him. Maybe he'd go from 500 to 600. And I would make like, you know, 60 something K on the card or whatever, maybe 70 K. But I was shocked to see his price go almost up to a million. It's since fallen back down, but uh, people were buying this card around a million coins. Uh, I don't like making coins off of stuff when there's like tragedy or, you know, we've had uh, past uh, just tragedies happen with some guys in FIFA where their cards have been taken off the game. Or even earlier this year when Andre Gomes got hurt, he had the bad injury against Spurs. People went and bought his card up. That's the kind of stuff I'm not I'm not about. Um, but this one was an icon. I mean, and the thing that he said, um, I, I looked into it a little bit. It was not good, but um, I don't want to go into it too much. But I, I think that it might have been taken out of context a little bit. But whatever the case, it did make his card rise. And, I, you know, some people don't like that you make coins off stuff like that. I wouldn't do it if it was uh, like a tragic event or something like that. But it was something that he said that was not good. Um, but it did make his card rise a little bit and I was lucky enough to, you know, make a few coins off of that. And, uh, it's, it's FIFA. It's not related to real life. So I'll take my coins. You know, that's kind of how I feel about that. Um, I don't feel like I'm supporting him in any way by trading his card at all. But if you guys have any comments about that, throw them down in the description. That's a crazy situation. We've never seen that before. So I'd be curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on that. But putting that aside, I want to talk about some stuff on the market at the moment. The... Uh, best of Team of the Week cards are almost out of packs. So if you're trying to smash some SBCs, some upgrade packs before these go away to try to hit one of them, you don't have much time left. Uh, and a lot of these guys have continued their slow rise out of the weekend of their lowest price time, kind of being on that Saturday night zone. Again, I want to look at this Ben Yedder card because I think there's a lot of people that have invested in these best of Team of the Week cards. As I look around Twitter and as I see people talking about stuff, there's a lot of people that have bought into these cards. You can see that uh, today he was around 200,000 coins. He's he's up a little bit, you know, 5, 10K, nothing huge. Um, but he is getting close to going out of packs. And I was incorrect about this before. They go out of packs actually um, in like not very long at all. I think it's actually they go out of packs at like, 
When is it best of team of the week players are available in packs now? I think they go out of packs actually like at um at 2 p.m. UK on Tuesday, right? On, on Tuesday, yeah. Let me see if I can back out and go back in. But it's not at 6 p.m. UK like I like I said before. Since they came into packs early last Friday, they're leaving packs like at the same time. So I'm not sure if it's gonna say here on the loading screen when it pops up. Yes, 10 hours and 27 minutes. So these cards are almost out of packs. Um, so you don't have much time to pack them in like a, in an upgrade pack or whatever. So go for that if you're trying. But I do think these cards are going to rise a little bit more out of packs. I don't think it's going to be a substantial amount though. I'm a little bit scared just because of the, the pure supply on these cards. Literally the Ben Yedder. Um, I mean, this guy was getting packed and I am panic sold at the same time on Saturday. So freaking much. It just does not want me. It, it doesn't I I don't want to buy his card because of the amount of supply that I know he has. 85 rated. He was the lowest rated player in best of team of the week, but he's also one of the most popular. So we'll see what happens. He could rise up. I could maybe see like 2 230 or 240 on Thursday, but I feel like after Thursday rewards, his price might stay pretty stagnant because people that want this card for their team, they probably already bought it on the weekend because that's when a lot of these card prices were low or they panic sold it um, when the Team League SBC came out and then they bought it again. That's why I feel like his, his price has jumped up uh, some of the most amount. I also kind of mistimed or miss said yesterday that he just jumped up a lot on his own, but the Fabregas SBC, as was pointed out, did help his card rise up a little bit as well, which does make sense. So the best of team of the week stuff, I do think you'll start to see it trickle up, uh, but then maybe stay stagnant and actually go down for some of the upper tier cards, maybe on a guy like Mbappe, especially this Mbappe card actually, because I just don't know um, how much demand there is for this card being um, in the same position as Neymar. If you're unless you're rocking like a three back formation, uh, I just don't see this Mbappe card going up a lot because he shares that position with Neymar. And unless you're going to place a couple guys off chem, you're probably not going to put Neymar and Mbappe in the same squad. Again, unless you're running like a three at the back formation, not five, three at the back formation with like a left mid and a left wing where you could get both of those guys in your squad. Uh, but other than that, I just think Neymar takes the cake over a guy like Mbappe. Speaking of Neymar, what is his price at the moment? What's going on with this card? Some of these guys were lower over the weekend. Looks like Neymar is actually still decently low. A million thirty. So he's right around a million thirty, a million forty, which is pretty, it's on the lowish end for him. And again, I think you're going to see a lot of stuff shoot up this weekend. Okay, Neymar, 1040 right there. 1040, 1045. So I think you're going to see stuff probably continue to rise up through the rest of this week and this weekend. And that's what I wanted to kind of focus on in today's video was the stuff that's going to be going up throughout the rest of this week. I told you guys last night during Squad Battle Rewards to pick up on some of these higher rated cards. The 87s are up a little bit. The 88s are up a little. The 89s are up a little. I think actually the, the best bang for your buck might have been some of these 86s at like... Um, at like 14,000 coins, maybe a little bit lower than that on bid. I know these guys did hit that price last night, so they were pretty cheap, which is nice. It's good. Um, but you can make coins on those. I think they're going to keep rising throughout the rest of this week uh, with the Icon SBCs being there, people having coins to do those. But I really want to focus on some of these Team of the Week cards and out of packs specials. Now, Road to the Final cards, Sancho, I bought one. Um, as you probably saw, I think I had on my transfer list and showed you guys. I bought it for 187. He's 212 right now, so he's risen nicely. Some of these guys, Juan Jesus has risen nicely. Um, and some of these other guys from Road to the Final 2 have risen because people know, wow, Memphis to Pi, 340. Goodness gracious. Goretzka at 888. Unreal. That card is just really rare and really overpriced. Goodness. That's way up there, man. Holy cow. But what I, the gist of what I was getting at with these cards is uh, just all in forms in general, they're going to be great flips this week. A lot of cards are going to be great for flipping. Uh, I'll show you my transfers right now. When the market is high like this, people have coins and they're looking to try players out and they're looking to upgrade their squads. I, uh, I posted on Twitter about this cruise. I bought it on stream for 279. It was a striker position change. Uh, so just be aware of cards that you see pop up, like on Sniper, on Bid, with the position changes. You can look and see, are they actually selling for more with a certain position change? In that case, for that cruise, it was. I've been trading with the Chesney card, got all these around 40,000 coins or below, sold one for a lazy buyer at 50, 
and a couple at 46. This Saul was bought at 57K, sold at 70. These Delix were all bought at 37K, sold at 43 or 44. And this uh, Ricardo Pereira was bought at 57K as well. Packed this De Gea. And then I have a bunch of other cards still up for listing. Had some 82s and Juan Mata. But as you can tell on my transfer targets, I've been looking at a lot of special cards. And uh, that's kind of the way of trading at the moment. I think it's a fantastic way to trade. These cards are fluctuating now a lot more because, you know, maybe there's a couple hours where the cards get low. That's why I had some Chesneys today. I was watching this card a lot. I missed that one on bid at 40K. That would have been a nice deal to try to flip um, because this is a kind of card that fluctuates a ton. It really is. It was from a team of the week that was pretty rare, 41K. I'm going to add that to the targets. And if that gets any lower, I'm going to be looking at purchasing that card because that's kind of, he's getting pretty low. Same thing with Delict. Under under like 39, 38,000 coins for Delict is, is a, a really good place to buy this card on PlayStation. And these cards are fluctuating a lot. And you can really tell which cards are fluctuating a lot based on their footprint trends and just based on how desirable of a card they are. Like this Delict card with a dynamic image, desirable card. We're probably getting a couple Syria informs this week, so you can keep an eye out for those. Um, and maybe those cards kind of rise a little bit this week. So again, if you're looking to trade this week, if you're looking to do some stuff on the market, take a look over here on the team of the week squads. I mean, you can focus on screams. You can look at road to the finals. You can look at just normal team of the week cards, maybe just kind of hunker down on like a five to 10 cards. Uh, and it, that's a, a great way. Wow. Cruz is 319. See these guys, these guys fluctuate all the time. Um, my crew sold today at 320 when he wasn't even anywhere close to 320k. He was just 290 an hour ago, 320 now. He was like 290, 283 all day. He's actually 319. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But these cards are all rare and they fluctuate a lot. And just now is like the optimal time to trade with them with the way that the market is with a lot of coins. Yes, people are kind of focused on doing SBCs, crafting. A lot of people are crafting right now. That's a very low price for James Rodriguez, actually. Um, I was looking to buy an icon tonight to try to flip an icon, maybe. But if I can get that price for James, I'm going to take you guys over here to the game. There are none. Wow, that undercut at 260 for James was a really low undercut then because there were, there's not even any at 283 now. Man, that was a big undercut. All right, I'm gonna add this to the transfer targets and watch that one as well. Um, but yeah, people are still doing those icon SBCs, but that's kind of taking their eyes off of like trading with the market because so many people are worried about crafting right now. Everybody's worried about getting high rated pack pulls, buying the rare golds, getting the non rare golds or whatever to do these upgrades. And it kind of takes less people away from the trading scene. I mean, myself included for a little bit tonight, I was focused on um, getting cards in these packs and just doing pack after pack after, pa after pack and trying to, you know, pack some good cards that I can recycle into SBCs. And that actually probably, you know, hurt my, my trading time a little bit, to be honest. And I just think that's where a lot of people are, are, are spending their time right now on the market so in diddy fifty thousand coins for his inform right about there uh which is pretty normal with the shadow though 50k what is in diddy with the shadow again shadow and, and uh chem style trading is perfect right now as well because uh people have coins they're they're not afraid or scared to buy stuff that might um that might have that shadow or chem style they have the coins and they're able to spend on those types of things. I'm gonna watch this here. If that, if I see one like a little bit lower, let me actually look at this graph. Let's go look at Indidi's graph. I know that, that one has a shadow on it and that's what I'm looking to trade with. Um, but if he goes to like 52K as normal card during the day at all, 50K, 55, 50.1. So he doesn't move that much. This guy just kind of might be one of those more forgotten type informs. There's been a lot of informs that have kind of replaced him since then, but uh, chemistry style with the shadows, with the hunters, is still a great, great way to make some coins uh, on stuff like that this week. Again, that's what I'm going to be focused on this week. If you guys bought cards on Sunday night, make sure you have them listed. I've had a lot of cards sell for lazies. Um, basically, this Cruz was a lazy. This Chesney was a lazy. This Saul was technically a lazy as well. Uh, so make sure you're listing your cards up for lazy buyers. If you bought some stuff on Sunday night, kind of heading out of the promo. And then again, if you still have some 82s or 83s or 84s, watch and see if you can get those cards out of, um, get those cards out here in the next day or so, I think, just to be careful. Um, we're probably going to have another team of the week. It doesn't look like a very good one. Van Dyke could be in team of the week. 
But other than that, it does not look like a very solid team of the week upcoming. So I'm a little bit skeptical about that and what that would mean for the market. I want to talk about one other specific inform in terms of team of the week as well. Theo Hernandez's inform has fallen out of the sky because uh, this guy is probably getting another inform this week. He was actually at 55K at one point today, but I'm not going to mess with this card because he is prospected and projected to be in this week's team of the week. And uh, this guy getting an 81 to an 84 rated boost is going to be mental. A lot of people are going to want to put this guy in their squads. Even a guy like Real Magnoli, who is up a lot as a scream card, I think could boom even more um, as is a good uh, link investment to Hernandez. Um, maybe another maybe another center defensive mid from like Syria. I'm trying to think of some examples. Even a guy like um, uh, Chesney, some Delix, some weak links. There's going to be a lot of people that want to use a guy like Theo Hernandez. So there could be some links this week, link investments to a card like this. Again, he's French as well, so he's pretty easy to link with other French guys um, in the Serie A and just other French guys in general. So maybe even a guy like Donnarumma. I don't look at this inform a lot, but maybe Donnarumma is a decent. Uh, if I could, if I could type his name in, Donnarumma might be a decent inform to do, to take a peek at as well this week. How much is he on the market? He is like 46,000 coins for this card right here. 46K for Donnarumma. That's actually like a undercut right there. I'm going to actually look this one up uh, because that actually looks pretty good. 86 rated informed Donnarumma, according to Footbin. He is up a lot already right now, so that might not be the best of buys. I'm going to try to get the, get a sale there for 50K because usually he's down closer to 40K. So that really wasn't that good of a buy, to be honest. But we will, uh, we will just take our, our small profit, like our 1K profit at 50K. <laughs> That's what you get for not looking at a card right away and uh, checking the market to see what his price is. But he is 50K right now, which is up. Uh, but if you see this guy again, maybe around like the low 40s, that could be a look this week, pre-team of the week uh, coming out to look at some stuff like that. And again, a lot of you guys are probably doing the upgrades, right? You're doing upgrades, trying to grind these SBCs. You can do the 81 to 86. You can go get yourself... Uh, maybe you, like Togo Akami and Tiago Silva just got some dynamic images. Um, maybe you, you can go do those upgrade SBCs and maybe make the Sesk Fabregas, uh, Fabregas SBC or the Bailey SBC or any of these SBCs you might have wanted to do. Do them for a little bit cheaper, man. Uh, that's what these SBCs are good for. So that's what these upgrade SBCs can really help out with. If you're smashing these, which I would highly recommend doing the 81 to 87 after my packs that I opened today as well. Just seems to be like a good thing to do. Uh, and uh, we continue to wait for a possible uh, team of the group stage promo. So we'll keep our eyes open and our, keep our eyes peeled for that this week. Some people think it's going to be in two weeks, but I honestly think it might be this week just because... Uh, EA, if they're not running the same footmas promo, then that could change things. But footmas is usually starting, you know, kind of soon. And since Black Friday was a week later than normal this week, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to see this week. So I'll talk a little bit more about that stuff probably tomorrow in our Thursday flipping video. But I just want to get on a video today, talk about the market, talk about stuff. The uh, Black Friday and the the basically the Super Sunday promo is over. So. We do have some packs in the store, but that promo is over. Flash SBCs are done. We didn't get anything for Cyber Monday today, but that's because we had Super Sunday. So I saw some people complaining about nothing on Cyber Monday, but I think that was just because they basically moved all the Cyber Monday stuff back to Sunday because there was more people on the game on the weekend and they could possibly make some more money off of that, which maybe they did, maybe they didn't. So we'll see what happens of that and what becomes of that. But we are past Black Friday now, boys. And, uh, the next thing in sight is Footmas. We're having, dudes, These next, the next month or so is going to be massive on this game. We're going to have Footmas. We're going to have Team of the Group Stage. We're going to have the Icon Swap 2 coming out in like 17 days. And also, Baby Icons going out of packs. So, a lot of stuff coming. Road to the Final Boost as well in like the next week or so. There's going to be tons of ways to make coins in this game before Team of the Year. I know a lot of you guys are focused on uh, making coins before team of the year, especially today, uh, as we probably know, we're going to get a team of the year Messi card, 99 rated, after Messi today won Ballon d'Or. So 
Uh, this this guy's probably going to get a 99 rated team of the year card. Last year, Modric got a 99 team of the year. So we'll start to hear the, the, the mumblings and the grumblings of team of the year stuff start to be talked about as well uh, as we're just a little over a month away from that. So time is flying, boys. Time is certainly flying. And keep your eyes peeled again for player of the month voting. Player of the month voting could be coming out this week as well, depending on when um, the Premier League wants to, to run that. That could that voting could come out uh, on Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. Or maybe even today, you could start to see. I think Premier League would be the first one to have their voting come out. So be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. And uh, enjoy these upgrade packs while they last. And hopefully you guys can pack yourselves something sick or craft some good old icons. If you guys are doing like the BPM craft all the way into these upgrade SBCs, like the, the ultimate grind process, props to you. I'm just buying some non-rare golds on the market and, and dumping some bronzes and silvers from my club because um, I just can't spend all that time grinding that. But I've had some decent pulls so far and it's definitely helping us get closer to an icon base icon SBC, which I do want to do one of those. Um, and the Van Basten profit today definitely helps me out with that because I feel a little bit better about buying a few cards. Uh, and that honestly helps us out big time in terms of coinage as well. 300K in a minute or so was massive. So again, that was a crazy occurrence today. Let me know if you guys have any comments about that or about the market and or questions about that. Uh, at this time as well. So drop those down in the comments if you have them. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Photo Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.